Here comes Sunderland. Jack Diamond on the ball. Number nine this evening. Diamond pulls it back nicely. And Trey Hume was lurking. Yeah, good attack. It good again. That's that forward run that creates a space. And Jack, Jack Diamond's made a really, really good run. And then he's, he's been lucky with these uh, his, his final cross there. Yeah, really good to switch it for the cross there. Trey Hume did score against Dundee in pre-season. Elliot Embleton on corners. Goes through to Luke 9 Here's Diamond. Again stands one up towards the back post. Hartlepool managed to bring it away for now. Here they come on the far side. Goes past Jim Atete, puts it in the middle, and Whoa. that's an own goal. And Hartlepool take the lead. It's just waltz past Matete there. It's, uh... Yeah, Jake Hasty, Hasty, sorry. Just stood him, didn't he? And then dropped a shoulder, went past him. I think it might have come up a combination oh. of Danny Bart and Trey Hume. Oh. Yeah, well, it's just, just one of those things. I mean, again, a good attack from Wally Pool. You know, good, good pace, but uh... for one nil. Yeah. I think we'll go down as an own goal, won't it? Oh, it's definitely an own goal. Yeah. Oh. So, so a spectacular own goal from Charlie Mulgrew in the Dundee United game. Wasn't quite that good. Formation. You've got Ellis Taylor playing now left side. It looks like it is Jack Diamond up, up top, and maybe uh, O9 playing in the hall. But yeah. ball goes out for Hartlepool throw. And throws it inside. Jack Hamilton. Jacob Carney clears. Hacking goal for Sunderland this evening. This does well to drop it off to Winchester, who has to turn. Gives it back to Embleton. Off the halfway line now. Trey Hume. Diamond on 09 ahead of him. It's over the head of Diamond. Danny Bart wins it back for Sunderland. Hamilton finds Harrison Sona. Hamilton puts it on his right and crosses one towards the back post. Too much on it though for Trey Hume. Might get in here. Oh, nine's cut it out. Diamond finds Hume. Tete. Again, I will compose you. Hume goes inside. Okay. Tries to poke it through for Ellis Taylor. There's plenty of Hartlepool shirts that there was a, yeah. an offering on the far side in yeah, Sauna. Looking for Ellis Taylor. Goes all the way through to the goalkeeper. Just gets past Jack Diamond. Sauna. Not going for Jack Diamond. Scores a bit of a nuisance. Goes down Diamond. The referee doesn't give it. And there's a late one as well, just off camera. He's brought it back for that. Trey Hume has pulled back. Yeah. Yeah. 
Winchester. Crossed in by Taylor. Hume's there around the back. Big deal, isn't he? Come around the back. Yep. Embleton will take for Sunderland. But he's down in the middle. Oh, Nye couldn't get there. Unless he drops it over the top. Diamond gets there. Keeper came out but goes back. Diamond. That's another dangerous ball by Jack Diamond. Oh, Nye couldn't get the connection. So they might get it back. They do. Winchester. Couldn't get past his second man, but Diamond's done well those couple of occasions he's had the ball on the far left-hand side. Yeah, he's, he's making good forward runs and we're hitting them this time. You know, he, so far he's been, he's, he's been our danger man. Sona crosses it. It's a deep one. Trey Hume, he's been picking them up as well so far. Gets there. And Nine drops it back to him. Gets a cross in. It's in the air. Featherson with the header, goes back in. So he wins it back, I think a few of the Hartfield players thought it was a foul. Nothing given. Winchester, Hume, O'Neill, oh, to get the return ball to him, but I don't think we're quite reading each other. It's another goal down, After a known goal in the second minute. It's pretty much all we've seen from Hartlepool in an advanced position that was that Ooh. cross. Let's see what happens from this. Embleton, Sona, crosses in, it's a missed kick. Got away with that. Alessi. Ellis Taylor now. Another chance, and someone keep coming. Embleton, Sona, crosses it left footed. Too much on it. Carl Winchester. Tete, it's a back of Hume. Well, nine. What can he do with this? Finds Winchester, who's advanced. Matete. Alessi. That's Neil at the top of your screen there, just encouraging his players to go forward. Taylor has got it. Surely that was just nicked off his top. I think he's just eaten out of it there from here. I think he just got it mixed up in his face. Sunderland ranks there, Lee. <laughs> oh, yes. He's Trey Hume, he's forward once again, puts an early ball That's in, ball. that Ooh. was a good ball and yeah. Jack Diamond almost gone on the end of it if it wasn't for Hartlepool's defending, Alex Lacey back there. Yeah that was a great shape on that one, he just was crying out to be attacked but uh, yeah some good defending. Could have done with a six foot four centre forward up there. <laughs> Embleton takes Sullivan's third corner of the evening so far. So what's the back post? Oh. And it's just wide. Wasn't too far away. He'd be disappointed. I think he thinks he should score. To... Yeah, he attacks it well. Danny Barnes looking for Harrison Sonner. Embleton. Still going Elliot Embleton. Uh, confusion 
between the two Harleypool players, blasted off each other. Another corner. And his right foot this time, Embleton. Towards the front post, and the keeper had to get something on it because he tried a sneaky one. He is, he's really ripped that in. Uh, there you post. Nearly caught the keeper out. Yep. Look at that. Yep. Shot corners. Yeah, that was meant, that wasn't a fluke. He's, he's, he's gone for that, as uh, Elliot Hamilton. I saw last, last season that Alex Pitchard scored from the corner end. I thought that was windy, though. Yeah, it was windy, though. <laughs> Abby Kasri used to try it every week, didn't he? Yeah. Embleton. Deep delivery. And uh, Hume couldn't get on the end of that one. Embleton trying to drop one over the top again. It's time for Ellis Taylor to try and chase. Kill it clears. Only as far as Embleton who fancies one from distance. Elliot Embleton's gone for it. Worth a try. We're hoping to build on that with new manager Paul Hartley. Potete. Good turn. Gives it to Winchester. Hughes balls a little short. And Diamond oh, might be an E. He is in Jack Diamond. Can he get around the keeper? Oh. He can, but he can't got the angle. He needs support unless he fancies one. Shot goes over from Elliot Embleton. Bigness. Half an hour gone. Sunderland trail by one goal to nil. That's an own goal. The second minute. Sunderland have thoroughly enjoyed the majority of possession. Opportunity and chances as well. Sunderland's probably biggest chance of the game so far though. Yeah, the, the lads are probably enjoying themselves. You know, as I say, they're getting on the ball, they're creating stuff. It's just, if we can take one, you know, especially after uh, Saturday's performance where well, we had plenty and, and, and really struggled to uh, take our chances. Hamilton spreading the play once again. Finds Sonner. Matete gets it back. Diamond. Diamond running at the defence now. Crosses one. Keeper picks it up. Sona picks it up. For Taylor. Good strength from Taylor. He does really well there, Ellis Taylor. He just couldn't give it a ball to Diamond, but someone still have it. Sona tries to cross. Blocked by Hasty. It's constant now, the pressure. You know, you just got to think it's a matter of time before we, uh, we get another opportunity. Hopefully it will. Taylor going down there, you could hear coming together, but nothing given. This is Jake Hasty. Single in the throw. Ellis Taylor now. Flips one in. Trey Humes there, pulls it back. On the corner. Danny Bart round the back. Oh. The keeper has to get there again. Cross come shot. Yep. Trying to bend kill up. <laughs>
Hughes header doesn't keep it in. And consistent on this deep around the buckle doesn't really. Tete competing, so is Luke on nine, slides in there. Comp very competitive in the middle there. Here from Hartlepool though. From Crawford knocking it wide. Should be easy for Carney. Diamond twisting and turning. And again. Sona crosses it. Can get the height on it. Yeah, just couldn't miss that first man. Embleton competing. Taylor. Stands one up. Trey Hume's there. Yep, again. He's doing well there as well. Ryan brings it down. Gets it back of Matete. Moves forward with it. Matete turns in the middle, but he's dispossessed by Joe Gray. Here's Jake Hasty. It's a wild shot from Hasty. I think it might actually. He's looking nearly went for the throw in. Yeah. And we've got a lot of it. Embleton. Takes down again. That's where it's frustrating for Sunderland this evening. We so haven't got a Ross Stewart or someone like that just to hold it up. Stewart is on the bench this evening. So as much as that start the 11 from the weekend. Sona works it to Ellis Taylor who gets the ball in. Or oh, nines up for the header. Oh. Diamond on the turn. Sunderland come again. Ellis Taylor. And it goes out for another corner from Alex Lacey's header. Embleton delivers it right on the near post. There's plenty of bodies in there. Trey Hume's there again, gets his head in the way. Alessi's there. Might break for Diamond. Diamond, can he get his shot away? He can't. You can see where the ball was there. Yeah, so many bodies in the box. There. Hume finds on nine. I'm getting an early ball in. So he's going to run up. As uh, Hume jumped. He must be back up to the continued. Just the one minute added on. Nice and galloping to get back. Gives it to Carney. Very high in favour of Sunderland. Does Sunderland come forward again? Luke on nine. Matete. Alessi. Sona crosses one left footed Ewan Murray is there one. Jack Diamond possible opportunity goes down I'd give that one he, he might has. have yeah. he's give it well fair play to Jack Diamond getting in that position to win the, the penalty that was the decisive moment there no doubt that's in the box this time yeah I, I mean Jack had a bit of a jump on him but uh, yeah they're given you know, he's, he's travelling at Pierce. He's just he's just on the line there, to be fair. As, uh... Elliot Embleton with a chance to convert for Sunderland. And oh. does so very decisively, Lee. What a penalty that is. <laughs> yeah. Great Pierce right in the corner. Right on the stroke of heart. I'm sure it's uh, <laughs> more scientific than that now. Yeah, be all sorts of isotonics and all that kind of thing. Well, half-time scoreline, 1-1. One, one. Let's have a look through the action.
Well, welcome back to SAFC Live. We hope you're fully refreshed after half time. Because Sunderland are facing another 45 down at the Suit Direct Stadium, which you all know as Victoria Park. Hartlepool United versus Sunderland. 1 1 Lee Howie at the break. Uh, Sunderland creating plenty of chances in that first half. But weren't able to convert and probably not really getting an amount of shots on target as they Alex Neal would have liked either. Yeah, we, uh, for me, we had two really good chances the Ambleton one and uh, the Bath one, Wesley's header. Apart from that, there were half chances. And again, we're getting in really, really good uh, areas you know, down the sides and the edge of the box, but we just, just haven't had quite that quality just to pick somebody up to, uh, to take the chance. And we'll keep an eye on for any changes as the, the benches make way back. It looks like there's a couple of changes for Hartlepool. Not for us. I just checked, the, I checked uh, as they were coming out the tunnel there, Frank. I don't think there's any changes for us. Well, at number nine for Hartlepool is Josh. Umara, he's on. So he's going to change at the top end for Hartlepool. Alessi. Embleton loses out. Possible opportunity here for Hartlepool. And Alessi's back there, tidying up. Sonnen needs to get rid of it. I think there's a few changes for Hartlepool. Four changes. He's come on as well. I think there's another centre half move come on as well as the ball goes for Hartlepool. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Ball played in. Oh, oh, oh it's oh. almost on the end of. Alessi was almost on the yeah, end of it. Alessi. Danny Barr keeps it alive. Can't get past his man. Hartlepool hack it away. Only as far as Trey Hume. Ellis Taylor, left footed shot. Far too much on it. Can't see much changing. I think all these last games uh, we've seen that the friendlies he's, he's, he's made one change, uh, so he tends to try to stick with uh, with, with the eleven that that's, that starts the game. Is that all to do with getting miles in the, under the belt of those players that are on the pitch? I think so. I think that's all it is. He's trying to give everybody as much game time as possible. Um, so on across it in there. Oh, oh Jack Diamond's man. just. I think he took a deflection just as it was coming in. He's, Trying to over flick it and just mistimed. Oh, keep it playing himself in the bother there. And Jolie brings it away. Oh, oh and Shelton's Come giving on. it to Luco Nine. It plays it through for Jack Diamond. Diamond, in oh, he just couldn't get inside the area. He's thinking about pulling the trigger there. Yeah, defender did well there. Diamond gets it back. Hume goes back to Matete. Winchester now. And Jolie plays it forward, looking for Umara. Spare thought for myself and Lee Howie back in the studio here in Sunderland. We are reliant on the EFL cameraman. Oh, well done. He's done well there, Ellis Taylor. Plays it into the path of Harrison Sonner, who has a shot. Oh, it's oh. at the back post. And a it was a stretching Sunderland leg. Is it all nine? Who was it? Yeah. Someone's in a heap. I think oh. it might be Luke or nine. But again. Ellis Taylor did well on the left. Uh, yeah, we're creating chances again early. Down. We've had a couple of possible header chances that we've just mistimed. It's Hartley Pool. And the team sheet we were given back here in the studio, that's all their changes made at halftime. But with these friendlies, anything could happen. Yeah. We don't get given the squad numbers until about 10 minutes before we go on air. I'd be surprised because you can always pick up an injury unless they can bring somebody else back on. It's, yeah. It's, again, it's, they've never two strict rules in pre-season friendlies. Oh, Hamilton winning it high up, but... He's Jack Diamond, finds a little bit of space. Diamond, thinking about his options. Couldn't get his shot away. And here come Hartlepool. 
Morale was offside there. Yeah, he's come from an offside position and back on. Good line, good line by the uh, the back three. How about Diamond's opportunity? That someone just needs to put the foot on the ball. Oh, Winchester does that. Trey Humes to his right. Onion. He's Elliot Embleton. Embleton. On his left foot, shoots some distance. It's unlikely, unlike what we saw against Accrington, where they seem to come into the game more. Sunderland have still got control of this game, really. Yeah, it's a little bit better from Hartlepool. They've been a little bit more aggressive. Uh, but, yeah, we, 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 we're still dominating possession. You know, just sort of panned across there. That, that dugout's completely empty. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody in it. Been on for the tee, the other lads. Yeah. Winchester falls down. It's a decision off the ref. Clear the lines for now. Good. Come on. Oh, nine, putting it through the lines. Ellis Taylor trying to chop onto his right when maybe he should have just had a shot with his left. Just his feet and shoot. Well, Connie's clearance met by Ellis Taylor who flicks it on. Looking for Jack Diamond. Asking a bit of Jack Diamond there. Could have yeah. put it either side for him. Good cover from the four. There's only plenty of pace. Yeah, Mohamed Nayan. What's happening here? Head injury or something, or something on him. Yeah, it's referee yeah. wants him to go and Change. get yeah. something checked. Mm -hmm. You just seem to point at his head and then, yeah. and then, and then say, off to the touchline. I think Alex Neal's just as miffed about it. Yeah, broke an eyelash. Carney. And Joe Lessie. He's got that in the locker, I think, that Dayag. Yeah, finds Trey Hume in space. Hume easily gets past his man as well inside the area. Hume pokes one into the middle towards O'Neill. I think O'Neill might have got the decision. Just got a foot in. Someone's tenth of the evening. This will be. He made that look easy there, didn't he? The way he chopped in. But it was a good ball from Alessi. Yeah, he's, he has got that one. He's, he just gets it on his left foot, and he can he, he can smash a big diagonal. Embleton will deliver this right into the mixer. It's a header from Danny Bart. Couldn't generate any power on it though. He'll pick it up. As he takes it quickly. Taylor's on the ball. Good the ball. footed cross, it is a good ball. Hume. Couldn't find a Sunderland head. Embleton will keep it going. Featherstone coming out on top on that occasion. Yeah. Hume just halting the attack. Yeah. We do look in good condition. Through the lines by 09. Jack Diamond's there. Still got it though. He did find Sauna, but so ball wouldn't stick to Sauna. I don't think he was. I don't think he was actually uh, ready for it. Caught him by surprise. Hartlepool will try and break. Sunderland have got plenty back. Unless he goes down. Yeah, he continues, yeah, because he went down looking for the foul, didn't he? Yeah. 
Joel Gray went down. He's had a quiet evening. Survived the chop at half time as well. Or nine. Most of Hartlepool players have had a quiet evening on the ball. They've done, done, done just done a lot of chasing. Well, it's been all Sunderland in terms of possession. Here they come again. Trey Hume this time. Going across field. Harrison Sauna trying to get across in. Emelton delivers it right onto the goalkeeper. In fairness, got something on it. Hume goes down. Nothing given. Linesman doesn't want to know. Alessi goes across to try and close it down. Hartlepool keep coming. This is Patterson. A collection of challenges. Yep. Finally see it go out. It will be a Hartlepool throw though. Jolie gives it back to his man and Hartlepool will try and come forward once again. Umara. Good defending there by Alessi. Didn't dive in, just, just eased him out. Carney should get there. <laughs> Maybe going to lose. <laughs> yeah. Forward from Danny Bart. Well done. Diamond sticks this time, That's does well. Hold it up. Well, nine inside to Embleton. Embleton forward to Taylor. Taylor finds Sona. Embleton. Sona play goes down in the box. Don't trip my mind. By accident. Matete. Well, nine trying to turn. Back out to Sona. Embleton is looking for opportunity to play that forward ball. Sauna on the deck to Ellis Taylor. Taylor clips it in towards the back post. Embleton finds Taylor. Taylor just closed down, but he still finds Sauna. Embleton inside the area, trying to play in Sauna. Matete. Trey Hume. Embleton now. Pops one off looking for Sauna. Sauna, first time forward ball for Ellis Taylor. And yes here, standing in the way. Stopped Ellis Taylor. Yeah, maybe failing the pace because they have just chased for the last 75 minutes Alex Neal giving some instructions to his lads there break I'm sure Alex Neal will be trying to uh, coach a little bit of uh, maybe for the final 15 minutes you know, can we see a little bit of extra player this how this is how we can break them down because I'm sure even though he will be uh, happy with the, the display in terms of the the uh, possession and everything we've had yeah he will want to win he will want to make sure we, we maybe finish this on a win Come Hartlepool. Yes, he's there to stop it, but there's a possible another opportunity. Still. Hartlepool got a bit of height there, so. Header comes in, but it's not on target. Shelton will hold on to the ball for now and then drops it off. Some of the fans behind the goal there. Off 
Cross comes in from the right hand side. Oh, it's a back heel, and Carney was ready. He was alert. He was alert. Back heel in. All the way back. Just a reminder that you can now purchase both the home and away kits right now at scfcstore.com. A new blue one, the away kit going on sale today. So nicely modelled as well by Angie Alessi. Hartlepool possible opportunity down the right hand side. Carney comes up. Ball. Thought he had it. Seemed to have the ball in both hands there, but play continues. Look, protested that much. No, the lad stuck his hand up. Whether or not again. Well, we are seeing a Sunderland change, and that is Michael Spellman getting a debut. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the EFL cameraman wasn't so grateful to show us who came off. Well, he's moved. He had a word with Jack Diamond, but I'm sure he's just moved him to maybe the right side. Let's have a look. I think the web has come off. He's making a way around. So I said Sauna has come off. Michael Spellman has come on for his debut for Sunderland. Luke 9, unable to make any action. Happened down the right hand side. Spellman asking questions already. He'll get it clear and get a free kick. Yeah, I thought so. He'll just come over. Jack Dan's gone. Ball comes across and he's able to turn on it. And Josh Umara, he had his angles right. Could have smashed that one beyond Carney. Winchester rides the challenge. Then goes inside. And GLS he picks it up. Diag doesn't come off this time. But Diamond picks it up. Diamond. Still going Jack Diamond. Oh, and Spellman's picked it up. Drops it off for Ellis Taylor. Ellis Taylor knocks one in towards the back post. And it's knocked behind by Brody Patterson. Will be another corner for Sunderland. The lads making uh, coming through. Yeah. Regional boys, yeah. Yeah, from local teams. aren't done yet. Danny Bart will chase this one. Goes all the way through and Jolie. Can he get a shot away? Winchester's stood strong and done well there, Winchester. And nine back there helping out as well. Inside the 90th minute, Elliot Embleton picks it up. Does that thing so well, doesn't he, when he puts it on his other foot? Because he's two footed, he's, he's, he's got good balance. Gonna go all the way. Jack Diamond seems to have come alive again in the last five, ten minutes or so. Going down under the challenge and picking up the foul. Yeah. He's going to run towards the back post, maybe. Maybe to the penna spot. Embleton is poised, left footed this time. Two minutes added on. Embleton's ball can't find its way past the cool lad on the edge of the box. It's been a decent game this evening, haven't we? Well, it's, it's been entertaining. <laughs> Again, we. The ball's played in. Come on, there, though. We've been comfortable. And chances, apart from maybe the last five, ten minutes where the game's got a little bit more scrappy, we've been a bit looser on, in, in the passing. Featherstone restarts it. (laughs) 
And that will do for pre-season then. It's finished 1-1 down in Victoria Park, the Suit Direct Stadium. Your thoughts on the 90 minutes, first of all, Lee? Uh, positives in terms of we kept the ball at good at high tempo. I, I think we were comfortable at the massive share of the... Uh, of the possession yeah but again the disappointment is we've just never took our chances uh, some good chances we had some half chances and again get